Demi Vardy had a night off, but Leicester City still made it five wins in a row as Kelechi Hiannachor's double put them on the brink of the Europa League knockout stages. Now, Kelechi Hiannachor took his chance, scoring either side of halftime and having a hand in a decisive third and scored by substitute Dennis Pratt. But the Super Eagle star escaped getting the red card after an awful challenge on uh, Braga's midfielder, Jao Novais. For Kelechi Hiannachor, him being selected to the national team is justified now because a lot of people actually slammed Gunnar Raw for inviting Kelechi Hiannachor time and time again, but we don't get to see his performance for Leicester City. But over time, most especially in cup competitions, he shows that he's quality enough to feature both in Leicester City, in the EPL, and of course in the Super Eagles team. Of course, he's been very smart to mm. resuscitate his dwindling career. At some point, even at Leicester City, he struggled. Yeah. Struggled for fitness, struggled for confidence, but Good to see this man. His talent has never, you know, been in doubt. Kelechi mm. uh, from the days of his uh, uh, participation in the uh, 17 World Cup yeah. back in 2013. So the talent is there. Unfortunately, he's not really got that pace for the English Premier League, but he can always, you know, find a way around it and adapt. I think the uh, Europa League, he has made it, it, uh, the Europa League his own. Yeah. Each time he comes on board, he scores, he makes his impact, you know, gives uh, his coach some, you know, uh, uh, time to think, maybe to gradually bring him in. Although it's not easy to you sub uh, the big man himself, Jamie Vardy. Jimmy Vardy. But I think this is what it is. If you get your chance, whenever you get your chance, make an impact with it. And he's got six goals already mm -hmm. this season, which is good for his confidence and, of course, good for our own uh, super goes. Yeah, true. But do, do you think Kelechi Hiannacho should leave Leicester City to probably a bigger team where he would get first team placement? Well, I think uh, he, during his time at Man City, he did well, but unfortunately he was not in the plans of Guardiola when he mm -hmm. came on board. And now he's with Leicester City. He's young, so I don't... He's getting game time, you would say, but I don't think it's the right time now to make a move because mm -hmm. he's gradually finding his feet at um, you know, Leicester City. Yeah. He's just behind uh, Jamie Vardy now. They, then they used to have Ayosi Perez. It made game time quite difficult for him, but right now he's just behind uh, Jamie Vardy. So I think maybe you just have a... Work on himself more, work on his uh, finishing, especially as a striker. Although, Kelechi, I keep saying it, is not your regular number nine. He's just mm -hmm. number eight. His natural talent and natural ability is always to play behind the striker. The striker. And um, unfortunately, that is not what we get in modern day football. Everybody's mm. playing 4 3 3, the wild football. Yeah. You have to cut him from the left or you're cutting him from the right. right. So, I think Kelechi should try and adapt. And mm. um, moving to another club now, I can't guarantee that. He should just stay at Leicester and fight for his shirt. Mm, very true. And uh, talking about the Super Eagles of Nigeria, knowing that Kelechi Hanacho um, still is in Gennaro Ross' plans, we now get to wonder if you have selection problem when he, in the striking position we have Kelechi Hanacho, there's Paul Onuachu, there's Victor Simon, who seems to be the biggest at the moment. And of course, uh, um, or Johnny Gallo um, quit the national team just after the Nations Cup. Don't you think there will be a bit of selection problem for yeah, Gennaro Rowe? Well, I think uh, Rowe has also uh, shown us that um, in terms of uh, finding the right combination, mm. he has not really you know, given us that, um, um, how do I put it now, to trust him. Mm. He, he, that is what it is. The Super Eagles right now are smoking hot. They've yeah. got a, a lot of talent, abundance of talent, and um, it's up to Rowe to get the right combination. Mm. It's, up to, it's up to Rowe to know who do I start with, who comes off the bench to, you know, put the icing on the cake mm -hmm. and who will just, you know, make up the match day squad. So I think Kelechi Anacho, good for him, is scoring those goals. And if you score the goals, Ro has shown us time and time again that anywhere you are in the world, he's going to call you, you mm. know, to join the Super Eagles. So I think it's a good one mm. for him. Very true, good one for Kelechi Anacho. And of course, all the Super Eagles players who did well in the Europa League, we have the likes of Kyle Day, Olaru Waju, and of course, Joe Aribo, who did well for their various teams in the Europa League.